Perhaps you saw it. A few nights ago, we did a story on the good news out of China. We found a place where the panda population is thriving, and at least there, it's come roaring back from being endangered. Our correspondent, Mark Mullen, seemed to thoroughly enjoy his outing with the creatures, who really did seem like stuffed animals with an attitude. They were playful, and they're always beautiful. But then we found what did not air, the outtakes, if you will, what the pandas did to our big, brave foreign correspondent. The truth is, our friend Mark was putty in their paws. The pandas, researchers found out, were a lot more interested in playing, eating, and sleeping rather than mating. Ow! Uh -oh. Ow! <laughs> in 2002, the population of the panda in the wild was barely 1,500. Then they're hungry. They're nibbling on my leg. Now, thanks to fertility, ow, 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 it's my leg. In the year 2002, the panda population in the wild was barely 1,500. They were headed towards extinction. Now, thanks to conservation and fertility treatments, okay, just don't bite, just don't bite. Ready? In 2002, the population of the panda in the wild was barely 1,500. The pandas, it turned out, were a lot more interested in playing and eating. <laughs> okay. Looks like Mark has a friend. Now you know what really happens in the field. That's our broadcast. Thanks for being with us. Good night.